The Lake Erie Monsters blew a 4-1 lead beginning late in the second period and fell 5-4 on Tuesday in Grand Rapids, Michigan, losing for the first time in the American Hockey League playoffs. The Monsters seemed to be flying high when Milano, on the rush, scored a spinorama backhand goal from the right circle, giving Lake Erie a 2-1 lead. Stedlack and Bjorkstrand scored five minutes apart in the second, making it 4-1, prompting Grand Rapids to change goaltenders. Corpusalo played a role starting Grand Rapids' comeback. He was penalized for slashing late in the second, leading to a power play goal by the Griffins forward Anthony Manta with only 55 seconds remaining. Grand Rapids scored twice in only one minute, 28 seconds apart in early second to tie it. Andreas Nezu potted the game winner with only 1.45 remaining. The Monsters, the AHL affiliate of the Columbus Blue Jackets, had a chance to sweep the Griffins, but instead will return to Quicken Loans Arena at 7 p.m. Saturday with a 3-1 lead in the best of a seven series. There has been talk of a potential scheduling conflict following the Cavs' advance to the Eastern Conference Finals in Cleveland. The Lake Erie Monsters hope it will not come to pass, but if in their second round, the playoff series against Grand Rapids goes the distance, Game 7 could be played in Nationwide Arena. News leaked via social media Wednesday when a computer-generated message appeared on Nationwide's Facebook page announcing a Ticketmaster event. The Blue Jackets spokesman confirmed that there have been discussions between the two clubs that the game, if necessary, could be staged at the Nationwide Arena here in Columbus. The Monsters host Grand Rapids on Saturday in Game 5, leading the series 3-1 after a 5-4 loss on Tuesday in Michigan. Lake Erie can end it Saturday with a win in the queue, failing that they could end it Monday when the series shifts back to Michigan. But if the Griffins take it to the limit, they came off the mat to score four straight goals in Tuesday's win, then Zach Warrensey could make his nationwide debut. And Oliver Bjorkstrand, Sonny Milano, and Jonas Corposalo could return to Columbus even earlier than anticipated.